finding local maximum and minimum and absolute maximum and minimum values. So what are these local maximum and minimum values? As you know, at some points the function can have the heights, highest points and at some points it can also have the lowest points. Okay. When we look at on our graph here, as you can see the function goes down like this and it has the lowest point here and then it goes up again. And same here. Uh, when he, uh, he, it has the lowest point again and then it goes up and then also here it has the lowest point and it goes up as you can see here we have three lowest point so these three lowest point we call them our local max uh, our local minimum values okay and same logic for the local maximum values as you can see here this graph goes the, uh, it has the highest point here and then it goes down and again here it has the highest point and it goes down again so as you can see on these two points we the, we call these points these two points as our local maximum values so the maximum or minimum over the entire function is called an absolute or sometimes global maximum or minimum okay so which means absolute maximum value is the highest one among our local maximum values so we said that these two points they are our local maximum values right so when you look at these two points this one is higher than this one so we can say that when x is equal to 4 y is equal to 6 and this 6 is our absolute maximum value okay so same logic absolute minimum value is the lowest one among our local minimum values here when we look at our uh, on our graph so we have these three points right so as you can see when x is equal to 6 uh, y is equal to minus 3 so this minus 3 is our uh, absolute minimum value so there is only one absolute maximum or minimum but there can be more than uh, more than one local maximum or minimum so on this graph our local minimum values are when f local minimum value so it's one is here so when, when x is equal to minus 3 it's equal to minus 2 so it's minus 2 so when x is equal to 3 y is equal to 2 and the last one is when x equal to 6 y is equal to minus 3 so as you can see these are our local minimum values and the and the lowest one which one is the lowest one which is equal to minus 3 so this minus 3 is our absolute minimum value okay so as you can see here we have three local minimum values and we have only one absolute minimum value so same logic we do for our maximum values so our local maximum values they are when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 so f1 is equal to 4 and when uh, x is equal to 4 y is equal to 6 so f4 is equal to 6 so as you can see 6 is greater than 4 which means 6 is our absolute maximum value so as you can see here we have two local maximum values but we only have one absolute maximum value so it is easy to see when we have a graph right so how can we find these values when we don't have any graphs let's look at this example here we have f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 so first uh, values those make the derivative of the given function equal to 0 are the local minimum maximum values of this function okay first you should know this one so first we will take its first derivative this is our first step and then we will make that equal to zero and we'll find the critic points okay so let's do that let's take its first derivative so here we have the derivative of f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 6x so we make this equal to zero so here we have three when we take this uh, three x parenthesis is 3x 
times uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x can be equal to 0 or x can be equal to 2. So after that, again, we draw our graph. Okay, so let's do this here. So here we have 2, we have 0. Okay, same logic. So we have here the derivative of f of x and we have here our function f of x. Okay, so as you can see here it starts with plus. Why? Because when x is greater than 2 its derivative also is greater than 2. Uh, sorry, greater than 0. So it's positive, it's negative and it's positive. So as you can see in this interval the function it's increasing, here it's decreasing and here it is increasing right so we see that when x is equal to uh, zero let's see if this is our local maximum or minimum point now to find out that you should draw this uh, curve it's much easier to uh, understand as you can see here when it's increasing after that it is decreasing right so it goes like this at this point so as you can see, we have the, here we have the highest point and here it goes down and then, then it, uh, it is increasing again, right? So it is something like this. As you can see, we have here the lowest point. So which means this zero, this point makes the local maximum point. This is not our local maximum value, okay? Because this is our X value we should find the value of y, okay, y, the value of y gives us the local maximum and minimum values, okay, but this is the point, this is the x, uh, this is the point on the x-axis that makes this function, uh, that gives uh, the fun uh, that gives the local maximum value for this function, okay, so same thing for here, for 2, this is our x value, okay, so we will put this value to on our function and then we will find the value of y and then that point is our local minimum value okay so let's do that so we said that zero this gives us the local maximum value so let's find this when x is equal to zero what is our value of y it is uh, zero minus zero plus four it is equal to four so this value is our local maximum value so this is the local maximum value okay why when x is equal to zero as you can see here it's increasing and after that it is decreasing so when you draw this curve as you can see here we have uh, here maximum value which means this point gives us our local maximum value so let's do the same thing for our uh, local minimum value so we know that when x is equal to 2 we will get our local minimum value so uh, let's find uh, the value of y when x is equal to 2 so which is equal to it's 2 to the uh, to 2 to the power of 3 it's 8 minus uh, 3 times 4 it is 12 plus 4 so it's uh, 12 minus 12 which is equal to 0 so this is the local minimum value so this is the process you need to follow to get the right answer in these kind of questions let's continue with this example here we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 2mx plus 1 the minimum value of f of x is minus 8. What is the sum of all possible solutions for m? So uh, the, minimum, the minimum value of f of x is equal to minus 8, which means the local minimum value is equal to minus 8. So let's first find the derivative uh, of f of x. Okay, so let's find it. We know that after that when we uh, make this equal to 0, we will be able to find the minimum and maximum values, right? So let's do that. The, the, the first derivative of f of x is equal to, it is 2x plus 2m, right? So let's make this equal to 0. So from here we will get 2x is equal to minus 2m 
and x is equal to minus m which means this minus m is our critic point okay so let's draw our graph here so minus m is our critic point so since uh, it is sign the sign of m is positive here we will start with positive sign okay it will start with positive and negative so this is the derivative of f of x and we put here our function so as you can see here our function increasing here it is decreasing right so let's see how it uh, how its uh, curve looks like so here it is uh, decreasing and here this is increasing so it will be something like this right as you can see here we have the lowest uh, value which means we have our local minimum value here so which means when i put this minus m instead of x on our function okay it will give us our local minimum value which is equal to minus 8 right this is our x value don't forget this is our x value we should put this uh, value on our function in order to find our y value because we need our y value okay so let's do that instead of x i will write minus m so f minus m is equal to so it is minus m square plus we have 2m times x i will put minus m okay and then plus 1 so we know that this is equal to minus 8 okay our minimum value which is our local minimum value and here as you can see this is our local minimum value so we can say that this is equal to minus 8 so let's do this part so here we have uh we have here m square plus 2m uh, it's minus minus sorry it's minus 2m square plus 1 which is equal to minus 9 so here it's minus m square this plus 1 uh this is minus m square hold on now this is minus 8 uh, yes yes this is minus 8 so when i put this minus 1 to other side it will become minus 9 yes now we can also say that m square is equal to 9 so from here m is m can be equal to plus 3 or m can be equal to minus 3 so what was the question what is the sum of all possible solutions for m so it is plus 3 minus 3 which is equal to zero now let's look at this example here we have the function of f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus mx plus 2 doesn't have any local values what is the minimum value for m so if this function does not have, have any local values it means that it doesn't have any roots or it has a double root why i will show you why but first we will start to take its first derivative okay you always do that let's just take its first derivative and write it down so here its first derivative is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus m right so we said that if this function doesn't have any local values it means that it doesn't have any roots or it has a double root why double root because when you draw it is graph okay so let's say uh, a is our critic point okay let's say and it, uh, this is a double root so it means that it is sign its sign doesn't change if this start with plus this will also be plus okay when you have a double root okay so this is plus actually minus uh, sign is here but since it, this is a double root we uh, skip that and we put also plus sign here so as you can as you can see our function here it doesn't make any curve 
as we did before. Remember, we were uh, we, we were able to find curves like this or this. So we, we could say that this is our local minimum value or our local maximum value. But here, as you can see, we don't have any curve. That's why if the, uh, that's why this function doesn't have any local values. Okay. So if this function has a double root, its discriminant is equal to zero, right? Or uh, it, uh, it, th there can be another reason, which is uh, it doesn't have any roots, which means its discriminant is less than zero. So let's do both of them. So which means our discriminant is less than or equal to zero. Okay, so let's use this. What was the formula for discriminant? It is equal to b squared minus 4ac, right? So here, our b is minus 6, so b squared it is 36 minus 4 times a, it's 3 times c, which is equal to m. So this is less than or equal to zero. So here uh, 36 is less than or equal to 12 M. So 3 is less than or equal to M. So from here we can say that when M is equal to 3 uh, we have the minimum value for M. Now let's see how we find these local minimum and maximum values by using second derivative. If the second derivative of x0 is greater than 0, which means that uh, at the point x0, f of x is local minimum. And when the, der the second derivative of x0 is less than 0, at the point x0, f of x is local maximum value. So let's look at this example. Here we have f of x is equal to x to the power of 3 over 3 minus 4x. So first let's apply our first, uh, first rule that we learned. So what we, how we used to do this, we should, uh, we used to do like, we, uh, we should take the first derivative of f of x and then we will make that equal to zero and then we will find our uh, critic points and we will draw our graph. So let's do that. The first derivative of f of x is equal to 3x squared over 3, it's x squared minus 4, right? So I can also write this as x minus 2 times x plus 2, right? So I will make this equal to 0. So x can be 2 or x can be equal to minus 2. Okay, so these are our critic points. So let's draw our graph here. So we have 2 and we have minus 2. Okay, and this is the derivative of f of x and this is our function f of x. So um, its sign will we start with plus because its sign here is plus. So it's plus minus and plus so as you can see here this function is increasing here it's decreasing here it is also increasing so when i draw my curves here as you can see it's something like this and here it is like this so at this point when x is equal to minus 2 it means that i have my max uh, local maximum value you see uh, it's on the maximum level so this gives us the local maximum value and this gives us the local minimum value okay when x is equal to 2 so these are not our local minimum and maximum value but at this these points we will get these uh, local maximum and minimum values okay so these are our x values and now we will find our y values uh, plugging the, these two on our function in our function okay so let's do that when x is equal to minus 2 let's see what is the value of y so when x is equal to minus 2 so it's minus 2 uh, to the power of 3 it's minus 8 
over 3 minus uh, 4x it's plus 8 so this will be equal to 3 times 8 is 24 minus 8 is 16 16 over 3 okay so let's find the other one f2 this is equal to it is 8 over 3 uh, and this is uh, 4 times 2 it is minus 8 so this will be 24 minus 24 plus 8 it is minus 16 over 3 so when x is equal to minus 2 we have our local maximum value right so this is our local maximum value and when uh, when x is equal to 2 we have our local minimum value which is equal to minus 16 over 3 now let's see how we use second derivative in this kind of questions so we found our first derivative right it was x squared minus 4 so the second derivative of f of x is equal to 2x so now we we still need these values 2 and minus 2 okay so now we will put these values here okay so instead of x i will put 2 okay the second derivative of f of 2 which is equal to 2 times 2 it is equal to 4 so 4 is greater than greater than 0 right so which means at this at the point x 0 f of x is local minimum right so at this point when x is equal to 2 we have our f, uh, f of x uh, as local minimum point okay local minimum minimum value so let's do the same thing for minus 2 when i put here on the second derivative instead of x i will put minus 2 so minus 2 times 2 it is minus 4 so minus 4 is less than 0 which means at this point when x is equal to minus 2 our f of x is our local maximum value so this will give us our local maximum value okay so by using second derivative actually you um, actually you don't need to draw your table without drawing your table you will be able to find your local minimum and maximum values now after finding these two you will go and put these values uh, in our on our in our function so instead of uh, x here you will put two we did actually same thing here so you will find the local maximum and minimum value which are the same here so the logic is uh, for you to not to draw this graph okay because uh, this is very time consuming that's why uh, when you take the second derivative you put these values you still need these two values okay but don't forget how we find these values you take the first derivative okay yeah uh, it means you still need your first derivative and then after finding these critic points you will use them on your second derivative after that you will put these values on the second derivative and uh, after that you will be able to find your local minimum and maximum values